Hey y'all, this is J. Maria, J. Marie Booklets, and today I'm coming to talk to you about keeping your log book or your ADT book up to date. So, you know, most hospitals, most units have an ADT book, a physical ADT book. ADT stands for Admission Discharge Transfer. So when a patient um, comes to your unit, they are admitted to your unit. So you write down their name, what time they came, maybe the name of the doctor, the name of the nurse, MR number, account number, things like that. And then when they're discharged, oh, and what room they went to, you know, what room, where they came from, they came from the ER and then went to a room. And then when they leave, you do the same thing. You fill in what uh, room they were in and what room they went to, you know, where did they go? Sometimes people go home, sometimes they transfer to another unit. So that is the ADT book or the law book. You need to keep that up to date at all times. It's very important. You know, um, I know the computer systems, you know, there are electronic systems that keep track of all that, but what happens if the computer goes down? You know, you know, we, we have, I don't know, maybe about monthly there, the uh, computer, the, the system will go down for whatever reason, maybe an update at that time, you know, you need to keep track of who's coming and who's going so that when the computer is back online, you can input input all that information. So that's why a physical ADT book is necessary. It's also necessary in case of an emergency. The hospital catches fire, you gotta evacuate people. You know, everybody needs to be accounted for. Who was in this room? What was the name of the patient that was in, in bed one, bed two, bed three? What's their name? How old are they? You know, who's the doctor? Who was the nurse? These are things that need to be accounted for because you need to do an account for them. So, you know, if you got the book where well, you can say, well, um, someone came in the 40, you know, Miss Smith came in the 40 three days ago. Miss Smith, are you here? Yes, Miss Smith is here. She's accounted for. Those are things that, you know, you need to know. And that's why you always need to have your ADT book up to date. And then, you know, so what I do is when we have a patient that's coming to the unit, you know, we have a system where we know we, we can see their name and, and who they are and everything. So I'll just go ahead and start filling out the ADT book. And I'll have, you know, the patient's name, um, the room they're going to, where they're coming from, the, let's see, the room they're going to, where they're coming from, uh, the diagnosis, and, um, and then, you know, what time they get there. So when they get there, the only thing I have to fill in is what time they got there but everything else is already filled in. And then um, th that's basically what I do. Same thing when they're being discharged. I do the same thing. Same thing when they're being uh, transferred. I fill all that in. And then when they leave, I put the time that they love. It's, it's that simple. It's not hard to do. Because if you, if you get busy and then you have three people leave at the same time, you can miss one, you can miss somebody. So that's why it's always good to have the ADT book up to date. I mean, there've been many a times I went to another floor and family has come, family or friends have come to see, you know, um, what time, or no, where did, you know, Mr. Smith go? I look in the ADT book, I don't even see that Mr. Smith left the hospital, okay? According to the ADT book, he's still here, <laughs> okay? He's still over in that room. Uh, there's nothing written, okay? Somebody else is in that room, but is showing that he never left that room. So that's why it's very important to keep the ADT book up to date, all right? So if you have any questions or comments, you can put them below. You can also follow me on my blog. It's at jmariebooklist.com. That's where I talk about being a health unit coordinator. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. Bye.